<laughs> Let's play! Whoa! Hey there, ladies and gentlemen, you all may call me Pharaoh, and welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts 3. Last time we left off, I believe we were collecting everything in the Olympus world? I think that's right. Yeah, I believe it was Olympus. Now I decided we're going to be going to the Caribbean because we got uh, a decent amount here. We'll go ahead and check our gummy phone and uh, the emblems. I think we have. So we have a decent amount here. Like, what is that? Eight? Eight emblems and I think 12 or so treasure chests. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, I picked up a good amount of my initial run through, but uh, still. There, there was quite a few, and I'm, I'm thinking in the next video definitely we'll be focusing on San Francisco because that one, that one's gonna be rough. There's a majority of the emblems and obviously the chest here that I'm missing, so that'll be all on itself. And I forgot to take a screenshot of this, but you may be looking at this ship and wondering, hey, this looks a little bit different than the Leviathan that we got. And that's because this is the Black Pearl itself. Uh, as soon as I entered the world here, uh, it, I got a little message stating that because of all the crabs I collected, we can now take helm, take the helm of the Black Pearl. So, that's cool. I'm not sure if it's any stronger or any better than the Leviathan, but I figured, you know, for this little collection thing, I might as well be using it. And uh, I doubt I'm going to be getting too many fights or looking for a fight. Regardless, let's go ahead and get this started. Uh, to begin with, we are here... This is by Horseshoe Island. Uh, this might be better if I take a look at the map here. So I just uh, fast travel right here to Horseshoe Island. And to get a particular lucky emblem, okay, you might be noticing this archway right next to the island. We want to go ahead and just... Well, the the ship fits right, or, like, right through it neatly. And not only does Donald and everybody say, hey, there might be a lucky emblem, because as soon as you get to it, you look to your left, yeah, that, that that's definitely a, uh, that's definitely a lucky emblem. Let's see. I, uh, not hard to miss this one. This, thing, this, this one's humongous, too, so. Only problem is I'm trying to get a Jeez. good picture of it. There you go. So, <laughs> that's one of many. Now we're back at the docks of Port Royal, and I forgot to mention, if you guys were asking how do I even gain access to the Black Pearl, uh, it's actually at the docks. What would happen is our ship would be, like, right here, and then the Black Pearl would have been right right next to it. So, uh, don't worry if you want to switch ships. Just go back to the dock, and uh, they'll both be there. So, regardless, uh, next lucky emblem is as soon as you start from the docks area, you'll see a rowboat. Uh, right in front of us here. You just want to get to it because right on the what is the term for helm of it, the head, wh whatever. Right, right here, you'll see a lucky emblem. Jeez. And there you go. Going into the actual town, uh, literally, we're just down the road from the docks. Uh, we've been here before, a bunch of little houses, whatever. You just want to go down to this little house. There's nowhere else to go. If you turn to your right, hey, look, a little lucky emblem that's, uh... To me, it's a pretty nicely hidden one. Um, it, to me, it does say it's camouflage. I mean, you can still obviously tell it's there, but it's good. It's a good one. So, Jeez. there we go. Thank you, Donald. We've now entered the settlement area of the world, which is kind of south of Port Royal. You just kind of follow the dockside path. Now, the first chest we want to get here, it's actually kind of well hidden, hidden apparently. You want to go behind these buildings, and there should be like a bunch of barrels and jars you can break around here. And one of them has the, has the hidden chest. Actually, well, eh, there it is. Pretty, pretty, pretty nicely hidden. And yeah, we get a Mega Potion for that. For the second chest that I missed in this little area, I'm sure you, you might be able to scout it if you're just climbing the roofs of these uh, of these homes and businesses until you find it, but I'm just going to help pinpoint it for you. 
on the ground if you want. You can just follow, kind of, if you want to say, east into the settlement, and you'll see his little store called the Couch and Br Britches, I guess. Just run up it, and to the right, you'll see a little pillar that has the treasure chest that we're looking for that contains a tent. Um, I don't know if we actually have gotten a tank tent in the game yet or not. Hmm. Well, I, in case I haven't, it's basically like any other RPG. You can only use it in the menu, and I believe it fully restores your health and MP. Nice little thing to have. I just wish I actually used it more myself. We're now entering the seaport area of the map, which is just a... It's pretty much in the settlement, but you just kind of go down into it. Uh, you guys may notice, we may have come through here before when I was crab hunting, and I just didn't know. It, to me, it's like it all kind of meshed together. Like, I'm not sure what area, which area is what. But regardless, the first chest is actually underneath this bridge, kind of like a little... <laughs> like a troll or something, paying its toll. But regardless, it's right under here, and we get a Mega ether. And since I'm right here, the next lucky emblem is actually right next to the bridge. You see this little shack. Well, you go in there. Look look at that. I, I will admit, this this whole area, the world, I, I, I could have been more, uh, if you want to say, attentive for chests and emblems. But I feel like I was focusing more on the open waters, thinking like it was going to be a lot more difficult, but... I should have paid more attention to the actual settlements. But regardless, we got it. Here's how to grab the next chest that I missed. Uh, we're starting here on the bridge uh, where we found that first chest. And the next one's actually actually towards the docks right in the center of the screen. Now you could run there like some chump, but you could just go there in style. So, okay, enough showing off. Regardless, uh, you just want to get down here and look at that. What do we get? Eye potion. I'll take it. Maybe I should have just ran down the docks like any normal person because if you go down here and you turn around, and look on the frame, well, it's a lucky emblem. What's all this about? Oh, hmm. Jack, I didn't want to take a picture of you just yet. I totally forgot that we, we still need to take pictures of him and Baymax to get that photo mission complete. Well, if you haven't. Make sure you take a picture of Jack. Suffice to say, I don't think I was going to be able to find this chest unless I looked it up in a guide. But the last one we're looking for in the seaport area is not even on land. That's right, we actually got to dive for it. So, you actually, from the docks that we were at, you just want to jump in the water. And we want to go towards the jellyfish. Um, I know there's a bunch of them here, but if you just kind of stick toward the middle here... You'll see kind of like a sunken rowboat where I'm aiming to right now. And within that, you'll see the treasure chest. And it contains an elixir. Okay, uh, I can understand why that was well hidden. I mean, elixirs are nice to have. Once again, am I ever going to use it? I don't know. But it's there if we ever need it. Okay, so I want to say that's everything in the settlement, or excuse me, the seaport area. Next, we should be focusing on the fort area. On the way to the fort, don't forget that you should take a picture of the waterfall if you're aiming to get all the photo missions. So let me go ahead and uh, do this, I hope. I don't know if he wants us to get it from here or from below, but regardless, we'll try it out. And that was, that was enough. Awesome. And as I mentioned before, if you haven't taken a picture yet with Jack, make sure you do so as well. This might be easiest if we just teleport directly to the fort save point. So it's going to be kind of on the roof of the fort. Hey! Hello! You're new! This is the watermelon flan. Okay, hold on. So we will check that out in a second. But let me show off where the, uh... <laughs> where the lucky emblem is here. So if we go up here to, like, the highest peak... And then you want to look down... You'll see that, uh, that rope forms Lucky Emblem. So that is pretty cool. I don't see. know if I can get a selfie with it, but I'll check. That nah, doesn't look like it. It's fine. No selfie this nice. time. Okay. So, that should be all the items and emblems that we can find, I believe, on the Port Royal area. Everything else is going to be 
spread out through various aisles and um, wherever else. So I think we're good here. Well, let's go ahead and check out this watermelon, watermelon flan. Because remember, we got to do good on all seven of these to get an Oricalcum Plus. So I don't know what the hell they even want me to do here. Use the cans to protect the fort from invasion. Oh, how, how... Wait, how do I do this? Oh! I was like, I, I don't know what you want me to do, game. Well, this is... Cool? It's like a weird version of Galaga? Space Invaders? Oh, which, one, which one am I thinking about? Oh, they're getting closer to you. Damn, I was trying to get that big one to the side. Oh, you're getting a little close there, buddy. Stop it. Yeah, I have a feeling I should have definitely defeated that big one. I think I would have gotten, like, good points for it. Well, at least we'll get... We'll get something out of this, I'm sure. We may not get the best score, but, um... It looks like I'm doing... Decent? Oh, come on, I missed the big guy? I'm gonna miss him again if I don't pay attention. Oh, no, don't don't you dare. Uh, that was a close one. I'm gonna ring for assistance. Come on. No, no, I was... <sighs> missed the big guy again. Oh, don't lose, don't lose now. Okay, so... A l just under 20,000 points. Let's see what I get for that. I mean, he... He was happy that time. I got a watermelon. Hmm. I don't think that was enough, actually. I, I think what we need to do is each flan, ha they can give you fruit and some type of ability. And I think that happened when... I think it was a strawberry flawed back... Um, what the hell was I going to say? Sorry, I'm like losing track of, track of my, my track of thought here. Or train of thought, whatever the hell it is. Um, yeah, I, I think we, he gave us like an ability plus multiple freaking... Uh, fruit. So, that... That kind of sucks. So that means I gotta go back and do that, but you know what? I think I think the, the getting the or, all the Ori Calcums, that might be something that uh, I might want to do in its own separate video, because I have no idea how bad it's gonna get. So, regardless. We're all done here, and now we want to be focusing... On the sandbar aisle. Oh, here it is. So we got a bunch of things to find here. Yeah, I was pretty much guaranteed some of these chests were going to be in really hard locations because they're going to be in the water. And frankly, I don't see well when I'm playing the game and doing all that. So I know there's one, there's probably a couple here. I know the one I'm going to go towards now. I have to kind of look for it. Oh, but actually, before we do so, you might see like a little rock formation there. Right in front of me. It does have a chest right on top of it, so we're just gonna go ahead and grab that really quick, just because I see it. Oops. I don't know. There we go. This has. Ooh, an adamantite. Okay. So let's actually go back to where we were. It might be nice to always have the save point as kind of like a, a guide or a starting point. So from there, you wanna keep going to the left until it starts showing water, or at least, like, the party island where, like, you can easily just walk into it. And from here, let's go ahead and dive in. You should see a... Uh, our shipwreck, or, excuse me, a, uh... This type of, yeah, shipwreck, rowboat rack. Uh, although, hold on a minute. Oh, I do see it right in front of me. Okay. Hmm. So what's the best way to explain that? Get a hunger crystal for that too. Okay. So yeah, how about this? 
as soon as you um, you see the area where the land turns more into water, dive in, and then when you see an anchor, probably the best way to describe it, when you see an anchor, you want to keep going, you want to make a left, and it should be right in front of that anchor, right here. Hopefully that was easy enough to explain. I, I, I know I'm not. <laughs> I'm not the best at explaining this. Now, I actually found this chest when I was trying to find another one. Best way I can describe it is, uh, we're on the opposite side of where the save point is. We're by these, like, three trees. And uh, if you look toward the water again, you might already see the chest right in front of us on... Uh, I mean, it's in the water, but it's still pretty visible. And inside it contains... Adamantite. Oh, and a bunch of crabs, too. It's kind of nice. If, you're, if you are looking for Keyblade Forge materials and you don't feel like grinding for them and you just need a few here and there, I think uh, the Caribbean is probably a good place to go. Okay, this one was just a pain in the butt to find, and I still don't know if this is the one I was originally looking for. So, in terms of positioning I am in the water, uh, let's think of it like this. There's that one area that has the three palm trees, and then there's also this ma massive rock formation right here. So, kind of in this direction, where I'm at right now, you just want to dive straight down, and you should see a chest right there on, on the floor. Man, I don't know why this one's so hard for me to find, but that's an Ori Calcum. Not a plus, but Ori Calcum regardless. I think we already got an Ori Calcum plus, the first one of seven, when we were, when we were initially here. Our, our, our initial run-through of this world, we got the a plus, so that was great. Now there's just one more chest, and it's the one I was originally looking for, and I still have a hard time trying to find it. I will be right back. Never mind, I found it. I was I was about to like you know prepare myself and get going. And I turned my camera to the right. Well, Goofy wasn't that marked in the way, but it's right there. And it's like, damn it! How the hell do I keep missing that? Anyway, we get Damascus for that freaking hard work, and I believe with that, that is all the. Yeah items that I was missing in Sandbar Isle. Now next, I, I don't think we have that much left to do throughout this world, so that's nice, thankfully. And, uh, whoop. And I think now we're, we should go to Ship's End, which is... Uh, where the fudge is it? Oh. Is that, it's right next to it. Let's head over there. I'm pretty upset that I missed this one, but I knew I was missing something because even when I was here at Ship's End, I kept, I was stating that there's no map showing up. So I'm like, okay, we obviously missed the chest containing the map to this world. And I couldn't find it, or like this area, couldn't find it. Here's a good way to, uh, or a good way to explain how to get it. You want to go through the little valley here. We obviously see the ship that has the lucky emblem that I was able to find before. Just go ahead and dive into the water, and then head to your right. And then the the ship right in front of us, on the top of it, I think you can see the, the treasure chest right there. That's all I was looking for. And it's not the last Kingdom game, it is for sure the map to Ship's End. It's not going to do as much help now, or much use now, but it, it's there. Um... I'm still kind of peeved that <laughs> I I freaking missed it, but here's a, a good thing is we're we're done with ship's end. That's all I that's all I needed from over here. So with that taken care of, let's head over. We're almost done actually, so this is actually pretty awesome. I'm happy about that. Let's head over to the island I can't pronounce. Uh, island Verdenda Ver Verdimentana which I don't even know how you say it, but sure, let's head over there. Alrighty, we're finally at the aisle, and uh, 
It's kind of a pain because it's just a bunch of those uh, Power Wilds, those Monkey Heartless that... They're all over the place, and I accidentally used all my Thundaga magic to get rid of them because it clears them out fast, but at the same time it uses a lot of MP. Yes, I have Ethers, but I was like, eh, screw it, I didn't think there was going to be a lot more. I was wrong! Regardless, you want to keep going through the forest area as you keep going through the aisle, and when you get to this little fork, take the left one, and you just want to look out into the ocean, because as soon as we pan the camera down, eh, there it is. Don't know how I missed this one either. I could have sworn I looked out from here, but let's see. It's uh, it's here. So oh, I don't think I'm gonna take a be able to take a selfie with it, and I don't want to risk it. So, got it. Let's go ahead and there it is. Oh, oh, holy crap! It's an Ori Calcum Plus. Yes, okay, I'll take it. Apparently, if you photograph 80 of them, you get an Oricalcum Plus. So, if you were trying to get the Ultima Weapon, doing the Lucky Emblems is pretty much a requirement. I could, if you could, you could stop now if you want, but you're, you've gotten this many so far, so why not keep going? Huh. Uh, I am happy about that. I... I did look up how to get most of the, uh, the Ori Calcum, but I guess I forgot about that one. So, cool. Alrighty. Well, that's all we needed from this little aisle. So, next we are going to be heading off to, I think, the Isle de, de los Mastales or something? Uh, let me, let me check the map once I get on my, uh... My ship, so you guys have a better idea what the hell I'm talking about. Because I can't pronounce these words. Uh, where is it? No. Oh, here it goes. Yeah, here we go. We're just gonna head over there because there's one more lucky emblem that we need to grab from right here. Once again, I was never going to find this if I didn't look it up. So, technically, this is not on the actual Isle de los Mastales, whatever it's called. It's actually on, like, the southwest outskirts, if you want to say, of of the Isle. There you'll, you'll find this little beached area all on its own, and it actually has some enemies on there. And you can find crabs here if you like, but the Lucky Emblem is on here, so... You should find something that resembles a little bit like uh, the emblem, I believe. Yep, here it is right here. To get a better view, you just want to step up on this uh, rock. Let's see. And sure yes. enough, it, it's right there. That one was a pain. Jeez. Like, that one was a... That, that was a huge pain. Um, never, I don't highly doubt I would have found that one if I didn't look it up. So finally, we only have one more treasure chest that we need to get here, and it's at the Gateway of Regret. I thought I picked something up there, but I... I, so, I don't know, I, I guess I didn't, but I was very um, skeptical about it, because it's like, why give me a map point, or a uh, fast travel point there, if there's absolutely nothing to do there? So, I will meet you guys there in a second. So here we are at the Gateway of Regret. Now, I was like, I thought there must have been something here, but there was. I just didn't find it in my initial uh, run-through. So, apparently we can run yeah. up one of these, uh, or you just find it right here. <laughs> Never mind. A yin-yang yin cufflink. Okay. Cool. I thought, I thought it was going to be like on top of it, but never mind. It was actually on the base of it. Just, uh, did I, did I not do this? Or maybe I just totally missed it. Well, obviously I did. Regardless, that should be everything. Um, yep, sure enough, that's all the lucky emblems that we're missing in the Caribbean. And in terms of the treasures, uh, yep, that is everything. Wow. That's, uh, 
I'm getting happy. We just need to uh, get the 25. Oh my god, 25. San Francisco is going to piss me off. I, I know it. I'll follow the guide, no problem, but there's just so much. Um, and it, like, honestly, it's one big map, you know? Like, yeah, they break it down to like different districts, like the North Central, South District, whatnot, but there's no really other, I don't know, distinguishable aspect of it, I guess? So, San Francisco is gonna suck. Not only because not only I had to get 25 chests, but I also do need to get majority of the emblems. I'm surprised I got two of them. Oh yeah, because one was in Hero's Garage. That's the only thing in Hero's Garage that we need to find, obviously. Uh, he has no treasure chests in there. And everything else is just in the city. I was, I was lucky I was able to find this one. Uh... But honestly, I mean, that, that's all we got left. And then, uh, oh man, we'll be good. Wait, what adversary? Oh, this must be the, yeah. Oh, the watermelon flan. There we go. That dingus. I might try doing that off screen. So I can, uh. Because I need to get the high score. And I, I might, yeah, what I, what I might be doing for these flans, so we found one, so we found five of them, there's two more. I don't know where the hell the other two are at. Um, I would, I'm probably gonna do them off screen or maybe in like in a video where I'm trying to find all the Ori Calcum pluses, I don't know. Uh, we'll see. I'm, I'm gonna let you how I want to handle that. Oh, crap, you know what? I totally forgot to even mention. Uh, regarding the Ori, Ori Calcum Pluses, let me find my... Where do I want to go to? Oh, yeah, my items. No, actually, not my items. Damn it, I need a Moogle. Oh, wait, there's one here, actually. So just make things a lot easier for myself. Actually, where the hell is he? Uh, apparently, he's on some island over there. I'm just gonna head over there with him right now, just screw it. I'll make this video a little bit longer because I do not plan on doing anything else in this video. I mean, I could put Sanfran, Sanfran, uh, Sokyo in here as well, but the amount of cutting I gotta do, because I, I think the recording itself right now is like over an hour long, and if I do Sanfran Sokyo right now, it's, it's gonna be even worse. What is show here? Like, I have a feeling it would be like a program. two or three hour total video that I need to cut and, and edit down to something manageable that you guys can view. Um, so yeah, that's why I'm going to save it for, a ne uh, for the next video. And after that, it, it, I might do just miscellaneous things to help me get the ultimate weapon. Uh, but regardless, we're finally here. Let me go ahead and... No, Jack, I didn't want to talk know. to you. What you'll find at sea, mate. Yeah, no, I, that, I don't care. Go away, you Johnny Depp pretender. Uh, anyway. Oh, got a new goal for... I can now add... I can buy Twilight Gems. Nice. What, what thing was it, though, that I... That I get it for? Hmm. Come on. I'm assuming that must be related to, like, the Twilight. There it is. So we got twi- oh, so we got 20 Twilight Gems to- now we can buy it. Okay. We're actually almost close- almost done with just all the census goals. Um, don't know what item I'm still missing here, but we're getting there. Um, and it's a, it's a gold tier, so it must be some type of crystal. Although we have Blazing Frost, Lightning, Lucid, Soothing, Pulsing, Writhing, Betwixt, Twilight, Sinister, Mithril, Wellspring, Hungry. So we got all those crystals, so it must be something in, in terms of like Electrum and Adamantite and the Ori Calca. Maybe something else that I'm missing that's great to have. Hopefully I'll find it. Uh, okay, so the rest of them, it's like I gotta find like at least as many gems and stones. Not too many of them left. Sinister stuff I can just do in... Only place you can do is Monstropolis. 
Anyway, uh, also let's check my phone mission and make sure I got everything I need. So yeah, these two are just in San Francisco. The Demon Tower, which I hope we'll do at the Keyblade Graveyard. And yeah, that one picture Jack did, uh, that was included. And now we only just gotta get Baymax and we'll be done with that. So we're almost done. Okay. I don't know what happens if I get all, all of those. I doubt an Orichalcum. Um, oh yeah, here's my material list. So, you'll notice that I have three Orichalcum Pluses. There was one I grabbed in the Caribbean when I was initially here. There's the one I grabbed now when I got those 80 Lucky Emblems. Now the third one I didn't show on screen because it was a totally random effect where... I, I think I explained this in a, in a previous video or was it when I was... One of the videos in the collection things, if you go to the shop in Twilight Town and you buy things from a Moogle shop, he will give you a postmark or a postcard you can mail in. One of the random prizes is an Ori Calcum Plus. So I spent a decent amount there. Um, I, I just kept rebuying potions and tents and things like that until I finally got the postcard I needed. I sent it in and boom. I got an Orichalcum Plus. People say there's, you know, it's since completely random. If you don't want to waste money, you could make a save and then keep loading if you keep missing whatever. Or you keep getting items you don't want. Honestly, that just seems a lot, a lot more tedious. Uh, there's a lot of money in this game, so you can spend it. Uh, and if anything benefits you, it's a lot of health items if you focus on that. So, there's that. So there's only four more, and I know that one is pertained to the Frozen Slider, one is pertained to getting the seven high scores on the Flan, and one of them is related to the Gummy Ship sections, which I don't think I showed you guys, but I was busy um, during my... during a break of mine. Like, I, I was editing videos, I'm like, I might as well do something. And I'm like, let's, let's help myself a little bit here. And I decided to do a lot of those gummy ship missions off screen, because honestly, they are a lot of the same thing over and over and over again. Um, let me see... I don't know where I, I would see it, though. Hmm... Is it not? Huh. Yeah, I'm, I'm having a total brain fart because I don't know where else I can find the gummy ship sections besides leaving the world. No, I'll, I'll just go ahead and do that. We're, we're done here. Uh, that's fine. We'll, we'll just go ahead and, and, and leave. Because in the next video, we'll be going to San Francisco. But I just, I just quickly want to show off what I was doing off screen. Because this is also tied to the one of the Orichalcum or Pluses that we need. I go to information, I go to my gummy records. You'll notice that Starlight Way... Like, I got everything A. Same thing with Mystery Stream. And same thing for a little bit for the... The Eclipse. Now, anything that's red, those are big enemies. Those are like the bosses. I did not show, or I did not do like the last one for each one, because I, I want to show that on screen. The ones already shown are ones we saw in previous videos, although maybe not the Glacial Fortress. Either way, just to, just to keep it safe, I might do this also, it's like a separate video, or I might pair it along the the um, Ori Calcum Plus video gathering thing. I don't know, but to get one of the Ori one of the Ori Calcum Pluses, we need to defeat this enemy, and it looks like it only opens up once I def do all the other missions associated with the Eclipse. Then you'll get the final major gummy ship fight. So, 
Yeah. And you know what? I I'll show you my gummy ship uh, when we get to this video. Because uh, it, uh, it packs a little punch. And it, I, I never would have thought it would. Because I kept using that serious gummy ship. And it says offense were off, were off the charts. Like at 1300 or something. But I realized I just was not passing these missions. Or I kept getting like B's on them. I'm like, damn it, what? why can't I get an A? And then I decided to build my own little thing. And uh, those A's came kind of easily. So anyway, yeah, that's how you get one of the Oricalcum Pluses. And then the other one, I don't think we actually get until we arrive at the Keyblade Graveyard. It's like it's actually in that world, so we can't have the ultimate weapon before delving into... Um, before going to the final world of the game. Oh, man, I, I, thought, I think I spoke a lot there. Oh, and also the blueprint fragments. I still don't have the firepower needed to break these, um, to break those pink crystals or purple crystals. I'll have to look into that later because I would like to grab these. And I know there's constellations as well I can grab. I will do that later. A lot of these treasures are associated with the, uh, the missions, the getting A's on them and the battles. So, if, you're, if you guys are wondering how to hell to get those, that's what you need to do. I don't know if they're also associated with the constellations, but maybe I'll do those off screen. And then, obviously, all the gummy missions. We, we, it did clear out a bunch of them when I was uh, doing it, but regardless. Next time, ladies and gentlemen, we will be tackling San Francisco and. Oh. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you guys, I'm, I'm a little nervous about it, but I, uh, I'm going to try my hardest. What's nice is San Francisco also has a bunch of enemies that will give me good crystals, so if you're looking to grind, then it's also a good place to get those materials. Whew. All right. I got to take a break. So, as usual, thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you all next time for Let's Play Kingdom Hearts 3. Love you all so much. Have a great day. Thank you all for watching this video. If you enjoyed what you saw, feel free to leave a comment, a like, and subscribe for future content, where I aim to release a video a day. And if you do subscribe, make sure to click on the bell symbol to be notified once new videos are uploaded. You can also catch me streaming from time to time on Twitch, follow me on Twitter, and join my Discord server to relax with other gamers. All this information is in the description box below. Have a great day.